is now. He doesn't come out much. I'm in the middle of feeding everybody. Gizmo decided to come and join everyone. He comes out when he feels like it. Izzy was just out, but she ran and hid under her log. But that's okay. At least I get to see Gizmo. Tiki was running around. He was chasing some of those crickets. He's a goofball. My short fingered gecko. Autumn was out, but it sucks. Autumn went back inside. This makes me mad because I so want to capture Autumn. Especially when they're stretching. I can't wait until they shed. There's Morticia. To do it, Morticia. There she is. Such a vicious little raptor of mine. She is my little hunter. She's evil. Pumpkin, pumpkin's in there webbing everything up. She's so ruined up. Oh my goodness, girlfriend. You are creating a beautiful web there, that's for sure. But why does that have to be on your plant? Why can it be in the back? Oh well, at least it's starting to spread out. It's okay. Well, you kill half of your plant. There's Denieri. I just gave her nice fresh water. I'm trying to change some water bowls. There's chestnut. Way in the back up here is Lily. You can finally see Lily. She's actually out for once and not hiding. She's basking under her little warming bulb. I wonder where Zeus is. Oh, butt munch. What the hell? Is that cricket stuck? Or is it just hanging up there? That is so weird. I don't know if it's stuck or if it's... Hold on. I pushed it down. I don't trust it. Startled her a little bit, but she's okay. I'm trying to find Zeus. I don't trust that sneaky little brat. There's, there's Lily. I've been personally close. She's still getting that nighttime bulb. Hmm. I know Zeus is around here somewhere. I don't trust him at all. Very chestnut. We do not trust him. That oh boy. He looks to escape. He gets himself in trouble. Speaking of someone getting himself in trouble, there's Cersei. Where are you escaping to tonight, Cersei? Doing a mission? She gets fed tomorrow. She's all nice and warm. So she's figuring out how to escape. I swear her life mission is to get out of that cage. Which she does when I clean it and I hold her, but and then she still wants out of that cage. She's a goofball. I can't wear her some days. She's dancing. Cersei, where are you going? Hi, gorgeous. She is so beautiful. She's too funny. Here's Avery squished it in the bag. 
She likes sleeping her face against that mesh. She's she's so cute when she sleeps. Cersei, I can watch Cersei all night trying to escape out of her cage. It's just too cute. She's still chilling outside. And the stats buried down underneath. We got Clary. She's facing towards the bottom. I know she's gonna go hunting soon. Some of them are on the hunt right now. So I'm following, checking everyone. Everyone. We all got fed a bunch of crickets. Bella, of course, we're not gonna see. She's a rare occasion, so when it comes to Bella, you know, I try to catch her when I can, so right now Bella's not out. Let's see, Leona. Nope, Leona's not out right now. Alright. I saw, there's Jace. Jace is in the back. Hi, Jace. What you doing, buddy? I know he's a happy little golden gecko. He got fed all kinds of crickets. Didn't you be boy? He got all kinds of crickets. He's like, give me some more. Dang, I want to crunch on some of more of those things. Did you get them all? Did you eat them all? I know you did. You're vicious, little boy. Yeah, you vicious. What you doing, buddy? He's too cute. You're, you're too cute. Let's see. Let's see where Beta's at. She was running around her enclosure. I wonder if she went back in her log. I believe she is inside her court park. Because I do not actually see her at this moment. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see her right now. So she must be hiding. Hi, bud. I wish Mingwuna would come out. Let's see about Rex and Ming Ming. I know Rex is hunting. Because I heard him deep diving down there, crashing into the other side of his cage over here. Where are those damn crickets? When he, he goes hard, he goes hard after those crickets. Let's oh, see my beautiful Ming Ming. I do not see my little shy Ming Ming. Ming Ming's so shy. She's too freaking cute. I've never seen a lover gecko as shy as she is. She's just freaking adorable. I just wish I could get her to come out more. Here, I'm gonna turn this off. Oh, wait, I see her. She, Ming Ming likes to hide under those plants. She's down there. Yep, see, right there she is. There she go. Ming Ming! Hi, baby! You have fun with it, you stupid. What you doing, Ming Ming? Let's see if I can get her to come out. <laughs> Ming Ming. Hi, baby. Oh, good evening, guys. All right, I'm back. Okay, see how it like air, like autumn started coming out. But you know what? I was thinking, guys, that I'm actually gonna change my spider's names. I know, I do this too much. But you know, I had named my curly hair tarantula Aragog. Okay, and it's still a sling. But I was thinking, since Aragog is the big tarantula in Harry Potter, I was actually gonna name this monstrosity right down there Aragog. Cause look how huge, look how huge he is. As far as I know, he's a male, supposedly. 
so we don't know. We'll find out when he, uh... Look at him cleaning his little pitter patters. As far as I know, I was told he was a male. But we'll see when he sheds and molts. But he's so, he's so huge, so... Since he's so freaking big, I think I'm just gonna name him Aragog. And then my sling, my curly hair tarantula sling, I think I'm just gonna name that one Autumn. Look how, cause look at that. That is not an Autumn. I'm sorry, that, that is definitely more Aragog than my sling. So, me Aragog. Aragog. This is my big striped knee tarantula. Look, he's waving you guys, he's saying hi. That's so cool. So this one's Aragog. And the baby curly hair sling up there is now Autumn. So I switched their names. There's Chestnut. Chestnut, you're going to be roasting on an open fire this winter. <laughs> She's like, yeah, get a life, Mom. And there's Pumpkin. They're destroying more of her plant. That web is looking beautiful, my dear. I actually like the way she made her web because I actually can still open the lid and not destroy her web considering it's up top which actually I gotta get her a new enclosure because I need cross ventilation because they said for the pink tr tarantulas they're having a big controversy about it that they should have cross ventilation so it's either I'm going to get something to actually drill holes in the glass because I see um, Serpent Designs, he's a really good, cool YouTuber. Serpent Designs does amazing work, if you guys ever seen him, Tanner. But, um, I'm either going to do that, or I'm going to get a different enclosure, where there's cross-ventilation for my Viculaire Viculaire. My Arizona Blonde. So beautiful. But back to Aragog. This is the star of the show right now. Come on, come out, big boy. He's cleaning himself. He just has some good crickets. I gave him three decent sized crickets. The pet store said they were feeding him three at least every other week. Because of the way he eats. And trust me, he's a monstrosity. That's only half his size. You, you see how big he is. Come out, big boy. Come on, baby. You're beautiful. He's a gorgeous, gorgeous spider. You're cleaning your pitter patters. It's my. I keep cleaning his water dish. I don't know what he's digging up, but he just keeps throwing that dirt in there. I think I'm gonna have to dump more subtrade in there. I got some pretty nice amount, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to definitely dump more in there. I did make it higher on one side. And he's actually on the wrong side. <laughs> this side is actually the low end of the dirt. So I have a feeling I'm actually going to be changing his enclosure around. I'm going to be adding more subtrate. For him to burrow and dig down because my other straight knee her wednesday she's burrowed down like deep in her cage and her cage is half of it dirt so i think i'm gonna have to change his around so aragog we gotta add more dirt buddy what do you think add more substrate There's a lot more dirt on the other side. That's definitely not enough dirt for him. Here, let's add some more dirt. I got some dirt. Definitely not enough subtree. Yeah, gotta add a lot more dirt. All right, time for some dirt. Uh, don't start messing up now. Okay, there's Aragog's full size. Now you see why I changed his name. Like, Autumn's not gonna work for him. 
Aragog is a big boy, like I said. And since Aragog's that big spider from Harry Potter, and my baby is huge, which I was not expecting for him to be big, like I said, from the pet store. So, yeah, look how big he is. He's actually pretty big. So, yeah, Aragog fits in better. And then there my curly hair sling will be named Autumn instead. But, yeah, now that he's finally out the whole way, which I'm glad he finally decided to come out. Of course, it is all but one in the morning. I've been waiting for him to come out. Such a beautiful, beautiful spider. Look how big he is. He's just gorgeous. So pretty. Wonder if I could do a side view without spooking him or going down in the front. There we go. There's a good angle. Look how big he is. See now you see why I said it's better if I named him Aragog instead of Autumn. There's a good view of him. Such a big spider. Does he have dirt on his back? He covered in dirt. Yeah he is, he's covered in dirt. Silly little spider. Aragog, buddy, you're dirty. What happened? What you doing in there? You got your back and your bum all dirty. What were you doing? I added a lot more dirt. Like, yeah, I added a lot more dirt. And of course, my phone's gonna keep blurring out because it's retarded like that. I hate this phone with the passion. Like, you guys have no idea how much I really hate this phone. Let's see. Eh, Aerie. Such a little sleepyhead. That's my girl. He's so cute. Let's see how else is still out. Well, let's see Morticia's tail. There's Morticia. Girlfriend, you're going to get all that blood rushing to your head hanging like that. She's funny. Oh, I see Clary's tail. This is Clary. God, I can't wait till my crusties get bigger. <laughs> the babies are so jumpy. Like, I try to get them out to hold them, but a lot of times they're just so jumpy and finicky. Which kind of sucks. I think I see Rex's tail. Oh, yep, I see Rex. There he is. Come on, phone, focus. No, we're gonna be gay. Oh, he ran. You bastard. I can't with this phone, guys. It pisses me off. Dang that it. Well, at least we got all the Rex's button. I wanted to show Rex. What about Mingy Ming? Ming? I don't see Mingy Ming, Ming at all. Mm, nope, Mingy Ming Ming's not out. There's Daenery. She's starting to come out a little bit. As you can see her coloration. There's my little Dee Dee. I always like to do my late night checks on my animals. And there's Pumpkin. Making a mess out of her. Look at that. She got substrate all up in her cobweb. How fascinating. Why would you get dirt all up in your subtree, girlfriend? Because I know that sure wasn't me. Can you not dig up her roots? Look, she's digging up the roots of her plant. Not just, I'm going to have to add the subtree in there. Let's see here. 
Let's see if we can see Zeus or Lily at all. Mm. Oh, there's Lily. Here's your weirdo boyfriend. I don't trust him ever since he escaped the other day. I know that's Lily. Even though Zeus and Lily's body structure are the same, I can tell when it's Lily and Zeus. See, Zeus, he's so weird. He hides in the most peculiar places. Chestnut staring at me like, what is she doing? See, he hides in this stupid plant, and I can't ever find him half the time. I know he's in here, though. I know that for sure. Mm, I'm gonna have to check later. BB, there's a chestnut. Did you eat your your snackies? Did you eat those crickets? Looks like it. I don't see no crickets hopping around in there. Good job. Were they nummy? Did you enjoy them? Yeah. Tomorrow we feed Cersei. She gets her mousies, which is gonna be real fun. I just love chopping their heads off. I can't wait until she eats the whole freaking pinky. I wonder if I should try tomorrow to feed her the whole thing. Mm. I don't see Cersei right now. Cersei was trying to escape earlier. I don't see her slithering around her cage, so... Seen her anywhere? That's okay. Let's see. Can we find winter? Oh, there's winter. Winter's my little Texas tan sling. So is Night Fury. This is the one's winter. I could tell because of the color of the plants. I made each plant different. So that's winter. That's a perfect shot. Good close up winter. Yeah. I had my sling get big fast. I can't wait to see the colorations of what they are. That's the only thing with slings. All slings kind of look the same. So you never know. So I'm kind of super excited to see what the color hairs are going to be and just how they are going to look entirely. Let's see here. There's a little bit of condensation in the cup. That's okay. I wipe it down if it becomes too much. Let's see where it is. There he is. There's Night Fury. And of course my Phone wants to start acting stupid. There's Night Fury. Beautiful little thing. The problem is, don't know if they're boys or girls. But, you know, Night Fury could be a girl name, if anything. In winter, winter's a boy or girl name, so. This is such a cute little slingy sling. I like the little black marks on their bums because with the texas tans they have these little black markings on their rumps really cute i gotta pull out autumn later i know y'all gonna get confused for a while because i can't for the life of me keep my tarantula's names correctly <laughs> but autumn is my curly hair sling so, I can't wait to see Autumn. I gotta take Autumn out later. So, we can take a look at them. Oh, Clary, what you doing? Oh, Clary must have found a cricket or something because she is stalking. I definitely hear him in Morticia's cage. Morticia, you missed some crickets. Get it to shut up.
she must have found something. She's licking her lips. Oh, she found some dew lips. Some dew drops. And some water. So freaking cute. Echo is still loose. I don't think I'm ever going to find Echo, honestly. So, I have... I'm going to order um, two blue skinks to go in that cage. So, I got some skinks coming, guys. But honestly, I don't see me getting Echo back. I don't can't find Echo for the, the fucking... freaking fudging life of me, so... It'd be pretty cool if I could find the damn thing. Because that was my freaking Turkish gecko. But I've searched. He, he's gotta be in a small space that I can't get to. Or something. And he's not coming out. So he's not making it easy on me to find him. Which is pretty upsetting. What are you stalking there? Clary, what's done? She's getting big. Look how big she's getting. She is getting big. Oh yeah, she's stalking something. I'll let her I'll let her stalk her prey. Let's check on the other animals. I don't see I don't see any of the triplets out. Mm. Oh, there we go. There's Gizmo. Gizmo blends in. Gizmo's are one of the, the darker, grayer looking, short fingered gecko. Oh, there we go. Here comes Izzy. Ah, oh, good girl. Y'all coming. Mommy says, Where are they at? And here you come. There's Izzy. She was light colored. See, Giz Gizmo's the light colored one. Izzy, she's the small, petite one. Tiki, Tiki's like Izzy, but fatter. He is wider. <laughs> He's my chunky one. Oops, almost dropped my phone. Not cool, not cool. Let's see if I can zoom in on Izzy. I don't want to get too close to the glass because it'll scare her off. So, so there's Izzy. She's so cute, so freaking cute. And right there is Gizmo, and it was hard to see him because I gotta try to wipe down this glass. I've been trying to clean the glass on the cages, as you can tell with my um, long t with the Zeus's and Lily's cage. But yeah, there's Gizmo. He's just chilling. There goes Izzy. She's gonna dig her hole underneath the water dish. So I constantly keep that filled with cool water. I make sure the water's nice and cool. Because it provides nice, cool temperatures for for these guys. Yep, there she goes. Tiki might be under there. She likes to go where Tiki is a lot of times. Yeah, Gizmo's out chilling. I'm going to have to actually turn some of these dome lamps off. Because it is pretty warm in my room. The heat's off. Regardless of the temperatures getting down in the 30s. I really don't need it in my room. Because I have all of these heat lamps. There's Aragog. Side view. We got the side profile going on. He's probably like. Leave me alone by now. I'm like woman. Go bother the rest of them. So let me see here in my nice moist spot. His water dish was right there. But it's too moist in that spot. So I took the water dish out after he was drinking earlier. And I'm trying to let that spot dry up a little bit. Because it's, it's too wet and I don't want to get mold or fungus or anything growing in there. So since he keeps knocking over his water dish. And that's the only spot for his big water dish. I got to kind of let it dry out a little bit. So, he'll have his water dish a little bit later. 
but it's probably nice and cool and moisture. He likes that spot. They are Costa Rican spiders. They're from Costa Rica, so they do kind of like a little bit of the humidity. So he's probably chilling in that spot because it just feels good. But that is a pretty good view of them, so I'm not complaining. Anyway, I keep getting distracted by Aragog. I'm really happy though that Tigger, that Gizzy, not Tiki, Gizmo's out. I wish Tiki would come out. Tiki just need to come out. I haven't seen Tiki since earlier. Tiki's funny. Out of all three of them, I think Tiki's the funniest. Followed by Izzy. Gizmo, as you see, he's just laid back. He just likes to chill on his log. He's a little fatty too. Is he so petite? She's probably gonna munch on some crickets under that water dish because there are crickets under that bowl. A lot of them hide under there, so she's probably gonna have a smorgasbord. But I feed them a lot of crickets. Like, I feed these guys a lot because how many are in there. So I make sure they all get fed equally. She's just the little rot of the litter, shall we say of the clutch because they were all from the same clutch so I bought all three of them from the pet store because at first I bought Tiki and Izzy and then I was like I felt bad and went back for Gizmo at first I was gonna just stick the two well I was only gonna get a tiki at first and stick them in a five gallon and then I was like you know what I don't want to separate them they're chilling together they're so freaking adorable so I ended up getting a 10 gallon and I bought all three of them which I'm glad because they're so cute and happy together there's beta she's deciding to bounce on me right about now to go back in her hide hold because I interfered her I'm sorry, Beta, were you busy? She's like, go away. She's more of my shy crested geckos. Clary, Clary don't care. She likes to be, she likes to that attention, but Beta, Beta don't like the attention. She's my one that I have problems trying to catch to pick up sometimes. She doesn't, she's more of the shy one. Clary, on the other hand, she likes the attention. She wants to come out of her cage all the time. I love how their personalities are so different. It makes it more fun. <laughs> They're too cute. Beta's like, I'm gonna inch slowly down the rug. Yep. That's what she does. <laughs> she slowly inches away. Okay, girlfriend. We'll see you later. Mm, Leona is not out right now. Jace must be hunting. Okay. So that's the babies. Oh, we can't forget the other ones over here. There's Jimin. And Koya. My betas. I gotta do fish tanks tomorrow. I gotta do water changes, clean and change filters, all that fun stuff. So tomorrow is the fish day, because I have a separate day that I do the fish tanks. But I'm gonna end this video here for right this second. I will catch up with you guys a little bit later since it is 1 a.m. so technically I can't say tomorrow because tomorrow is actually today so I will see you guys a little bit later say bye Goya say bye Jimin <laughs>